Hello Ichi viewers and random Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans. Today I'll be checking out this rather awesome Lego playset of the Turtles Lair from the new movie. And here it is in its packaging. The box is the standard Lego layout, so at the top corner we get the Lego, Nickelodeon and Ninja Turtles logos. Opposite them on the far corner is an image of the four heroes themselves, while an image at the bottom displays all the minifigures in this set. It's for kids aged 7 to 14, it's code is 79177 and it is the Turtle Lair Invasion set. On the back of the box we get a good look at the set, plus some of its exciting features. Opening it up we get some instruction booklets and a sticker sheet in this bag, some larger parts in a separate plastic bag, and seven numbered bags of Lego bits. Alrighty then, let's get this set built. Cue the time lapse. <laughs> Wow, head rush. Ah, oh, but here we are, the fully constructed set. And as you can see, it's made up of three separate pieces which have been joined together. First up is the largest section. At the very top we seem to have this entrance to the sewer. There's a control panel, possibly used for gaining access to the turtle's lair, as it's hinged so it can be pulled back, allowing access to the slide beyond it. On the other wall we see a sticker which contains detail of a circuit breaker box with wiring running from it, and some pipes printed behind it, and below we get some graffiti. There's also a manhole on the floor surrounded by some vents, which is actually a hatch which can be raised up by twisting the red lever behind it. This can also be turned really quickly to flick away any intruders. Under this level there's a sort of prison cell section which is designed to trap any bad guys should they attempt to enter the lair. This is achieved through a neat little feature where turning this lever raises this section of the slide, while pressing this grey lever down throws this graded section across the slide, stopping the minifigures from reaching the base and trapping them in the cell, which is a fun little idea. For those lucky enough to reach the bottom, they're met with this large open area which contains a massive computer with several screens detailing a map of the city, which I'm sure Donatello just loves. There's also a green swivel chair positioned in front of the monitors. I love the little pieces of detail here, from the spotlight to the graffiti to the pizzas littering the floor here. There's also some type of red canister with a wheel on top and this chain which hangs from the upper section, while finally the steps leading up to this area are an excellent design choice. Moving on, here we have the middle section. At the top there's a railing with what seems to be a fan on the floor. There's more spotlights on the front with some more detailing of a brick wall and graffiti. This large vault door looks great and what I really like about it is that the wheel in the centre has to be turned to unlock it before it can be pulled open, which is a fantastic inclusion. Inside the vault there's a brown barrel on a moving platform, so it can be flicked out and hit anyone who's not supposed to be opening it. Another barrel sits by the vault door. This brown ladder leads to the lower section where you can see a large black fan which freely rotates. What's more is that pressing this red lever thrusts the fan down along with these boxes sitting on top of it which resembles an explosion kind of like the Foot Clan have detonated a bomb behind it. Finally on this sort of circular section at the front we get this brown panel with a picture of a Foot Clan soldier on the front which rotates and is clearly being used by the turtles for target practice and training. This final section seems to be the weapons storage area. At the top we don't really get much, just one of those black wheels and two more spotlights. Across the front is this large grey gate which can be lifted up and held in place by this black and red mechanism. This exposes the weapons area itself, which includes a katana and a black sai. A brilliant feature here is that when the red and black lever is pushed down, the gate releases and slams down locking the weapons away. What's more is that a golden sai is hidden in this lower compartment, which is pulled out from the bottom. I love these grey pieces on the sides here, as they have detailing of brickwork moulded into them, which really sets this section off. Connecting the sets is rather straightforward as these black sections are hinged so it can slot the pegs on the ends through the holes on the corresponding sides to link them together. Moving on, here we have the minifigures. First up are the two turtles in this set, Leonardo and Donatello. Both head sculpts are pretty much the same shape but contain some great detailing of this spackle-like effect on their heads. 
Leonardo is sporting his blue bandana, and you can see his eyes through the mask there too. On his torso you can see detailing of the underside of his shell, plus some straps and some blue rags which hang from his belt line and down over his legs. On the back he naturally has his shell alongside this little section which houses both his katana blades. These can be removed and actually attached to his hands as well. Leonardo also has his trusty skateboard. It's just a standard blue skateboard with moving wheels which the minifigure can be attached to. Donatello has his purple bandana and is also wearing the flip down goggles which is a nice touch. His torso design and colouring is slightly different to Leonardo's but it's still the same basic layout. His shell is the same on the back but it includes this gadget on the top of it. Donnie also has his quarterstaff which fits into his hand. Splinter looks great, especially with that specifically sculpted rat head offering a lot of detail. What's interesting is that he's been given the child minifigure legs, which make him much smaller than the other figures included here, and he comes with a sword accessory. Shredder looks really imposing, especially for a normally cute minifigure. I love the sculpting on the armour here, it's a great effect. Both the helmet and shoulder panels look amazing. The silver paint on the body ties it together really well, along with that fabric purple cape hung from the back of his neck, while the shredding bladed gauntlets on both arms really set him off. Two Foot Clan soldiers have been included here, they're both identical with hooded faces and a generic army style uniform and they both sport these large grey guns too. And finally a motorbike is included for one of the Foot Clan soldiers to ride. It's just a generic black scrambler but I love that dual kickstands have been included to position the bike in an upright pose when on display. The soldier just slots onto the middle of the bike where he's held securely. So overall, what do I think of this set? Well, it's another fun and creative toy from LEGO, which ties into the new Ninja Turtles movie, so when kids see the film, they can come home, build up the set, and reenact the scene from what they've just seen. There's some great detail and a lot of features on display here. I particularly love the idea behind that slide and the exploding fan. What's really great is that it's all made from Lego, so when kids reenact the Lair invasion, they can really smash it to bits, then rebuild it and do the same thing over and over again. The minifigures are all really well detailed and have a lot of individuality and accessories, although I really wish the other two turtles had been included here as well. The instructions are clear and easy to understand and follow, but I found it to be a bit gruelling at points just with the sheer amount of miniature pieces which have to be located and attached to the set. But I'm sure that's the same reason kids love it, as it presents a bit of a challenge. And it's certainly worth it, as the amount of detail and features make this a fantastic set to play with, or be put on a shelf and admired as a display piece. And so that brings us to the end of this review. Thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to stay subscribed for more videos, and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you again for watching, and remember to keep following the nerd. Goodbye.